The Catholic Church has a positive vision of human sexuality, of marriage and of family life, which we believe provides the way to an authentic human happiness. It is the role of our Catholic schools to promote this positive vision of human life. Indeed, parents choose to send their children to a Catholic school because they believe that Catholic teaching is of benefit to their children. And recently, the Australian Catholic Bishops of Australia produced a pastoral letter to the Catholic faithful to better explain this teaching in the light of efforts to change the current legal definition of marriage. In order to assist the Catholic community in Tasmania to better understand why the Church has sought to defend the current legal definition of marriage, I asked Catholic schools in Tasmania to distribute this booklet to parents with children who attend our schools. I've asked that the booklet be delivered in a sealed envelope to parents and guardians, as I believe it is the parents who are the best educators of their children in matters like this. It is important to make clear that the Bishop's pastoral letter on marriage affirms the dignity of all human beings, regardless of their physical characteristics, gender, or the orientation of their sexual attraction, and condemns in the strongest terms any form of unjust discrimination. Now I'm aware that there are some in society who would seek to silence the church on this issue, and indeed prevent Christians generally from expressing their beliefs in the public square. Increasingly they are trying to manipulate anti-discrimination legislation to achieve this end. This represents the rise of a new intolerance against Christianity in Australian society. And more generally, it is a threat to freedom of speech. It is important in a democratic society like Australia that every person is free to present what they believe to be true. There should not be any threats of, or intimidation against anyone who expresses a view in favour of traditional marriage. It is important that Australia has the opportunity for an open and free debate about the nature of marriage, particularly leading up to the planned plebiscite. And this debate should be conducted in an atmosphere of respect where all arguments can be presented and exposed to rigorous scrutiny.